one thing is uh, I was also on the book stand a lot of times. Um, and I remember once it was in 2008, um, we always had on weekend, we had a quota of 50 books to, to, um, to sell. And I remember it was, it was Christmas, not, it was Christmas, first Christmas day. And I was in a book stand and it was already evening and we were not allowed to go in the org because we didn't need the 50 books. So we were standing out there, we were freezing. It was like, it was December in Berlin. There was um, really strong, strong winters and we were not allowed to go in. I mean, it was Christmas. Yeah, we actually wanted to go in. I mean, anyway, my, my, my family is not there, but people who were on the books and they had family in Berlin. And I remember Lucas, like the flag rep, he was driving around with the car and checking what we were doing. I mean, of course, how you want to meet a quota of 50 books on Christmas when the streets is empty? It's impossible. But uh, we had to stay out for a pretty long time. And then at some point of time, he decided, OK, good. Now the guys can get can get good read. But was there yeah. a physical book stand or was it just out selling books on the street? No, it was a book stand. But we could so not say. We could not say that we um, we sell the books. We said we had to say we're taking donations for the anti-drug campaign, which is of course totally bullshit. But we we had to say that because of the government, as the government was watching Scientology, if they would know that we were actually collecting money for Scientology, uh, we would lose the um, the approval for the book stand. Explain the book stand to me because that doesn't, um, I haven't experienced uh, that in a class five org in the United States. What is it? Um, it's different stands with chairs where people can sit with the e-meter. Like we have, we had e-meters with us where we did the stress tests in order to sell the dynamics books or whichever book they had. And um, but like you, but you set it up yourself, right? It's not like permanently there. No, no, we set it up by ourselves. We had the permission for a stand like Alexanderplatz, which is a famous place in uh, Berlin. And um, then we had a stand and then we were body routing people or distributing flyers. And then the people would come sit down with the stress test with them. And then, yeah, the book, the book thing. So it's just a table, right? Yeah. OK, so what you have um, Dianetics books on the table and you're doing a stress test with the e-meter. Yeah, exactly. Why are, why is the org not allowed to sell a Dianetics book in Berlin on the street? I think because Scientology is not accepted as a religion. But I mean, is it a violation of uh, German sales taxes? Like, can, can the police just decide who they want to let sell books or not sell books? There must be some official thing that they were trying to avoid or something like that. Yeah, I think so. Because the DSA Berlin, she was very behind us and was also watching over our shoulders when we were doing the stress test thing to really make sure we're not saying we are collecting money for Scientology. So, but even though it's a Dianetics book, you're basically saying, hey, if you would like this book, uh, please donate $5 to our anti-drug campaign. Yeah, exactly. Really? Yes. That's incredible. Was it always that way? Yeah. It was never, never other, never another time. And we had to, we had to say that normally the book costs in the bookstore, like between 10 and 20 euros, but we are not selling. So you're not, you don't give us a fixed price. You can give whatever you want. But when the person, okay, I give you two euros. And we said, no, that's not enough. And then we had to push over. Like we had to really, um, minimum was, um, five euros and that was even less so 10 euro and above was good and the other thing was not good so we had to even when the person said i want to collect like two euros it wasn't enough so we had to push the public to give more god that sounds that sounds like horrible horrible work i never was, had to sell books oh yeah be happy <laughs> Okay, if you want to see my rock and roll songs, click right on this guitar. And if you want to see an, a different one of my videos, uh, then you could click right inside here. If you have subscribed or not, subscribe right here. Bye! -bye.